how does companion planting actually enhance the flavor, growth, yield of certain crops? And what are some examples of that? Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's another one where there's, there's so many examples, but it's the same as like, you know, the three sisters, obviously, right? The corn is a heavy feeder, so that's feeding off of the nitrogen. They're being able to produce a heavier crop. Um, in terms of like, like at home, like indoor growing, whatever it may be, uh, things like, like basil. Basil is one that they're talking a lot about, like exudates in there are producing a lot of like sugars, uh, polystaccharides, and possibly like other amino acids and stuff. So that the plant that it's in the same pot with can have an easier time uptaking those when it needs to fight off stress, drought, or if it's in the middle of, you know, making glandular trichome heads. So it can produce more essential oils easier. Uh, and it's it's got everything it needs in there to make more complex profiles. Um, and I can, you know, a lot of what I'm saying may be anecdotal from me. You can go read this. You can go read the papers that tell you, like, what is the actual actions that go in there. But every pepper I've grown at home, it doesn't even matter if it's, if it's a, a jalapeno, a jalapeno will hit you like a reaper. Like, it's so much stronger. The, uh, you know, the the healing herb, the electric lettuce, is is happier and healthier. Praise the whole time. It reeks. It's very complex terpene profiles. It's It's just so much easier to produce these really complex smells. Uh, but even our companion plants, so like the basil, um, man, the basil, like you open up that tent, the smells that come through there, unbelievable. But that's all, they're all doing that through those actions down in the rhizosphere. So they're keeping that root zone happy and healthy. They're feeding, of course, the bacteria, the protozoa, everybody that's down in there, they're feeding it through the root zone, through these exudates, but they're also communicating with each other. So when we start to, you know, we start to get heavy into flour or or into drought or whatever it may be, a little extra heat stress, they say, hey, I need a little more whatever amino acid, I need a little more sugar, I need a little more carbon. Do you have that? Can you feed the roots? And they talk to each other and you get these just lush, happy, healthy, tasty crops. And it's, uh, you'll see the difference. You plant, you find the right pairings, you'll, you'll see the difference for sure. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.